made it. We made it. So sad. Have to pour out the coffee to get through security. Tragic. Just tragic, folks. Oh, man. Did you hear it? Did I hear you talking to someone? No, I was talking to the camera. Oh. I'm just, um... Hey. Just waiting for Joe. Duh. I was gonna say, with a tripod in there, you're not packing much. You know? You know? We survived security. Holy guacamole. Not, uh, not the easiest security experience. Actually, that was one of the hardest ones I've ever been through. We're running, we're running, we're running. They're boarding. Come on. I hope you brought your running shoes, Joe. Thank you. Just de-icing, just de-icing. Question of the day, YouTube. What idea or tip do you have for creating a travel vlog? I, uh, I have some ideas, I'm gonna share them with you in one second. First, just gonna say bye. 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 Have a good day. See ya. So, what tips do you have? Comment down below for creating a travel vlog. My probably number one tip is obviously remember that you are changing settings from your normal life. So, establishing shots are really, really important. Whether it's the airport, whether it's where you're staying. But don't forget to put establishing shots into your daily vlog. And secondly, people are watching. Not, I mean, the cinematic shots are nice, but really they're watching for your story. So how does your story come out in the video that you're producing that day? And uh, so more on that in a second as to why Joe and I are here in Minnesota uh, filming. Right, Joe? Thank you. All right, we are hungry. <laughs> saying at the airport and by the way we're at our location here uh, remember establishing shot we're gonna show you establishing shots here in a second to give you a sense that uh, you know we're not in Denver anymore and we are in Minnesota <laughs> careening down the side of a mountain but frankly guys it's just it really is about the story the personal story even in a travel vlog situation and uh, cinematic shots can be nice. They can be nice, the cinematic shots, but you don't have to have them. So we're going to show you some cinematic shots here just to give you a sense of the setting. But again, remember the story, specifically the personal story. Joe, you going to make it off this cliff? <laughs> oh, dude, this is...
and in the cinematic. All right, there you go. That was just that saucy, smooth footage. And now we're freezing because it's Minnesota and we got to go warm up in the car. But gives you a little sense of where we're at, setting the, uh, setting the mood of the next really five days of vlogging because we're going to be here. Oh man, and now we're about to fall. Okay, good stuff. Oh no, muddy shoes. Remember yesterday published a vlog about how to clean your shoes out of the Nike vapor flies? Go check it out. We got more mud, Joe. What do you think about that? <laughs> he thinks I'm cold. Yeah, I was trying to think of a good pun, but no punny, no punny today. We found it. All right, key travel tip: don't get hungry. Right? You know when you're at home and you get hungry, you go to the fridge. Or if you're at your office, hopefully you packed lunch. But when you're traveling, you cannot be hungry because you get jittery, and then you don't film well for your fans out there on the YouTube. So, Blue Door, home of the Bluesy. Suppose the stuffed burgers is what we're looking at here. You ready for this? Literally, for this? literally, literally a Blue Door. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Right, Joe? He'll get there. He'll get there. He'll get there. I know what I'm getting. Alright, Joe, changing my vote. Eight and a half. After reevaluating, I had to think about it. I went with the spicy burger, and the spice kind of took away from the. Uh, the, the actual burger taste, but I'm, I'm eight and a half out of ten. That's a good score. Joe, good job. Bonus. High five. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Ah! High five. Joe, daddy, love me, daddy, love me, daddy, love me, daddy, love me, hanging. I want to go in there. Okay, it's cold. We're back to where we're back to our place of refuge. Dinner was delicious. Dinner was delicious. Um, we're just checking out Tom from the UK, your channel, telling Joe about it. He, he's noticing your comments. Thank you, Tom, for the comments. So we're just check, checking out your channel, Tom. Spreading the word, spreading the word. Road to 1,000. That's Tom over in the UK, so Joe's uh, learning about you. And I am feeling like I can think again. We are here. I've got my socks organized, making home base, right to love, right? I just, I can't really think unless I'm unpacked. You know the drill, hon. And remember the tip from yesterday, if you're a runner, make sure you pack your running shoes in your, a plastic bag before you put it in with all your clean clothes. You don't want that, so we're getting these, uh, Getting these guys going. I'm going for a run. Switching to the GoPro. All right. See you, Joe. 2.7K, 60 frames per second. Hyper smooth on, low light. That's right. Heading toward 8 o'clock here in Minnesota. Get you some low light shots here. See how it looks. I, I don't think I've used the GoPro yet outside at night, so this will be interesting. All right, let's go. I just found a track that's open. Uh-oh. We might have to do a time trial later this week. It's so cold out. My phone died. I'm just listening to uh, some YouTubers, listening to their stories. I hope I'm making a little bit of sense today in this story as I run through Minnesota. Uh, I just want to be raw and authentic and real with you guys. 
my plantar fasciitis is hurting. Oh man, but I'm excited to do one more race and then call it, call it quits for ah, at least three weeks, maybe four weeks. Just take so much time off that it can heal up completely. But uh, oh baby, this is part of my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, if you're still watching, congratulations. This is a long travel vlog and I love it. All right, you don't need to drop a comment down below the keyword of the day, but if you want to drop something, you know I'll read it and reply. All right, Whew. let's get back to some heat. Bring in the heat. Good run, good run. A little chilly though. <sighs> YouTube. If you've made it this far, thank you. I know this is a long one. Uh, feel free anytime to listen in the background as you cook spaghetti or you brush your teeth or what have you. I get it, your time is valuable. And I also get that I want to remain faithful to you, Tube specifically talking to the long time viewers. And I know there's a lot of new subscribers, welcome. This is a daily vlog channel. You might think, and especially for the old viewers who have been watching for months and months and years now, I am not turning this channel, I just wanna let you know, into a running shoe review channel. I'm not turning this channel into a GoPro review channel. But I also, uh, so you've probably noticed, like I've been publishing a lot. In fact, twice a day, a couple days. And essentially, I am trying to learn about YouTube. I'm trying to become a better uh, entrepreneur, you know, on YouTube. And that requires testing new ideas, including new thumbnails. And I'm sure you've noticed that. New titles new content ideas. However, you also probably noticed that I have not missed a daily vlog yet in the last 10 days. Like, even though I'm publishing twice a day, some of the videos are the vlogs, some of the videos are running shoes, or time trials, or GoPro testing, because I want to continue to push forward and push myself. And again, that gentleman Evan from last week, he challenged me. He said, like, if you want to do this, you might have to publish two to three times a day. And I get it, like that's, it's happening and it's working on this channel as far as engagement and meeting new people and sharing a message with a larger audience, which is, yeah, it's part of my goal. It's part of my goal here on YouTube. So thank you for watching this long. Thank you for remaining here on this video for this long. And I just want you to know that I'm not changing the channel. It's not evolving away from a daily vlog. I'm simply adding more content. And within the daily vlog, I'm also doing like daily running now. Or anyway, it's like it's fascinating in my mind as a as as a creator to push my boundaries. And anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. I want to remain faithful to you on YouTube, and I'm not I'm not changing the channel. So thank you for listening to that. All right, we're not done yet. The day's not over. So thank you for being, thank you for sticking around. This is the story of Seth Dumore. <laughs> Texting an ordinary in man 4K on a mission. 60 frames per second. <laughs> Sweet. Now you see him. <laughs> see beauty. Work hard and love each other. Saucy. Alright, that's probably good enough.